What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who this is, this is Frank coming through your speakers right now. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a subscribe down below and let's get right into this one. This is a new player right here, new career mode. For those that have been following the channel for some time, this is a special treat for you. Right here we have the center midfielder from Germany. He's a youngster. 17 years young goes by the name of Amory Lindbergh. Hopefully you guys enjoy that name. I'm not too sure. He's going to be at 5'10", 198, but I'm always open to making him a little bit taller, kind of like a Paul Pogba type of player. Maybe that 6'3", maybe a taller midfielder. Just let me know down below and uh, we'll go about that in, in the way that it needs to be handled. I'm going to go up here close to the face. You really see his facial features there. I'm going to go into his kit now. It's a bit of an untucked situation. Long sleeves to start it off. He's going to be playing in Germany, so it's always going to be frigid there, especially in the winter months. This right here is a celebration. Giving thanks, kissing the floor, giving praise to the most high, always. Hand on hip for, for the set piece. The running style is going to be head down, and I think it's about time that we go in here and pick our team. I did a poll and we had that a German team, a small club, was going to be able to, to get blessed by the talents of Lindbergh. And I'm now looking through and honestly, I think I might go for this club right here. SV Sandhausen from 1916. A beautiful city here. And I'm going to do a little bit of research before I end up picking them to see if they're actually the perfect team. Last minute decision here. I'm going to be playing for... Hamburg SV, a 4-3-3, the formation they're running. I feel a bit more confident in this rather than that five back they had. So I think I'm going to rock out here playing in Hamburg. I'm pretty sure is where we're playing at. And I'll see everybody when we start it up in this season. Of course, I'm going to be playing on three-minute halves. Ultimate difficulty, of course. And I think it's about time that we get in there. So it's time for the Bundesliga 2. I honestly thought about going to a Bundesliga 3 team, but in my experience, when you go to a team that's too trash, it's, I feel like you just get over it, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too sure if you guys can relate to what I'm saying, but that's definitely the case scenario. You know that a new career mode means more fun training drills to begin with. And at least if you couldn't get here for the Fabianski career mode, at least you'll be here for the beginning of this one. Low cross there from Lindbergh. Perfectly played to the very back post. I guess not. Last one needed right here to get an A. Hey, we'll take it. Perfect. Slow it all the way down. Hit that one up. Good step over move. Run all the way through. Good finish. That's A grade already. On to the next drill. It's the time lob through ball. Honestly, this is the one that's going to mean the most. Success here means success in the games. And look at that. Already getting to it. Beautifully timed. Through ball lobbed over the top. This could just be be because um we're in the training, so maybe the game's going to be a little bit more difficult. But, of course, we'll have to see about that. 30 finish, and it's not a great played ball to the outside. Keeper runs up. Just not a good finish. This might be the last attempt that we have. I'm looking for the strike, and there it is. All right, that's all she wrote for the training drills. I think it's about time we get some pitch action. These are our first impressions of a young German talent. I'm pretty excited. And I need to get some more Maverick points. So I'm going for the two goals scored. Hopefully I can get that tally today. But I'm looking for the cross. Played in. Let's see if I can make something happen. Ball played in perfectly at the back post. Ah, no luck. 16 gets the ball off to Lindbergh's boot. I'm moving it now inside. And just like that, the ball is turned over. Very early in this match for Lindbergh. His first impression, not the greatest, but... We're looking to make something happen now. It's a step inside. Ball played. It's the 85th minute. Anything could happen. I'm trying to separate, like, get some space here. There we go. Ball played in. And Lindbergh now running behind. He could go out, go out here and get this goal. Bit tongue-tied there, and it's a shot. And in his first match in the Hamburger SV kit, he ends up getting himself a goal sliding in. And look at that. Talk about a scene for his very first match. The one to put him over the top in this friendly competition. And the whole team is jubilant by the youngster's effort very late in this match. Perfect end to this first match. The first showing of Amory Lindbergh. Honestly, a huge player for this Hamburger SV side. And I don't know if this is a small team. Let me know down in the comments. Do you think this is a small club? That I, Because, I mean, this is a Bundesliga 2 side. And I know in a Bundesliga 3, it's, it's very tough to get out and get scouted because you're so far down there the scouts just don't even come your way 
but let me know down below your feedback live from the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu. Gave it the whole thing because we are at a historic venue. Hamburger SV versus the team that is undefeated as well. And there he is, Amory Lindberg walking out. And I'm trying to get my, my personality right, so I'm going to go for the Maverick-like style. And it should be a great match here. Quick pass, not even looking at him. Just knows exactly where his teammates are going to be. Oh, and as I say that, foolishly running into his teammate. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have to laugh. That's too funny. That's literally too funny. He does a no-look pass and then runs into his teammate, which is really my fault. Um, but they go down and score a goal there, cheekily play it in, and the keeper gets beat at the near post by the number nine. And honestly... Anybody with a number nine kit is going to be a dangerous opponent inside the box. Whoop! There goes Lindbergh. I'm moving inside now. Come on, through ball. Someone run. Someone run. Someone run. There he is, number 14. What a good strike. Almost hit perfectly into the bottom of the net. The keeper's not even there. Ball played inside. I got to be here. Oh, get that off the line. Whoo! What a strike. That was almost a goal. Lindbergh now on the move. Ah, got to slow down. I don't have enough pace yet. Look at the movement. Like KDB, baby. Over the top. KDB. Oh, it's Lindbergh. Oh, my days. What a challenge. A great move there. He just changed the pace up on him. Oh, my days. I think this team is from Spain, but I could be wrong on that. Um... I don't think they are, but that guy definitely had a lot of pace. Way too much for the defender. It's time to make a play. Get on him, get on him, get on him. Good tackle. Left mid? Oh, let's play it. Let's play it then. Left mid? I'm playing it strong. Perfectly played. Let's go inside with it. Yep. Back outside. Keep running nine. How hard was that? What a stop. Not like we ain't playing. Come on, man. You caught out a pass? Yo, the effort level right now is very low for the team. That's one takeaway from this match. The effort level was very low. A lot of plays, but not too much in terms of ending up on the score sheet for Lindbergh. He played some defensively, and the ball got in over the top a couple of times. I'm sure you guys saw that. I will be sure to include it. But nothing coming from this match result wise and honestly a minor setback and hopefully we'll be able to come back and really show out look at that 23 passes 92 percent one tackle in 15 kilometers ran that's at least 10 miles i don't know about y'all but i don't want 10 miles in 90 minutes that's some real deal stats all right everybody i'll see you guys in the next match let's do it i'm pretty sure this is the last match of this friendly tournament and look at the fans in the crowd taking photos and honestly, it feels pretty good to be the first face walking out of the tunnel. The first fans, or excuse me, the first face the fans see. And I mean, what better face to see than Amory Lindberg? Oh, you better chill. His cousin, Fabianzi, can make the play. And of course, Lindberg can. He's a center mid for a reason. And look at this. He's going to try and take it all the way already. Woo, slow it down, slow it down. There it is. Ah, no luck there. Uh-oh. That striker is no joke. He's not one to mess about with. And honestly, he showed why. He went right by him and shot that shot. This is a French team here. Actually, I think it's from the first division of France. In Nane, I think it might be. Great right-footed strike, and honestly, that's a far distance away from the goal for the keeper not to really be aware of that strike coming in. Wow, 2-0, baby. Nice, nice. Nice. Down 2-0 on the score sheet, but we're not losing this one. I can feel it. We need the win, and honestly, if we don't win this one, I don't really mind, but I'd like to win it. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Let us have that. All right, Lindbergh. The gaffer saw something. Maybe he wanted to rest his legs for this upcoming match. Not as active as that star-studded match he had where he had a goal as well. 
or excuse me, that was the last match where he didn't have a goal. We still had 23 passes. Not the greatest match from him, but Amory Lindbergh, still a lot of growth to be made. This is the last match of the episode, but I did want to come in real quick and show off one thing. It's now the regular season in the second division of the Bundesliga. And if you take a look there at the right side of your screen, Amory Lindbergh ends up becoming the captain at 17 years young. Now, I made sure that it wasn't a glitch or anything, and I went to the actual team sheets, the uh, squad hub, and he is the actual captain. So since he's playing in that midfield role, Hopefully, his captain's patch in his honor now for the German team and the German nationality, the German national team. Hopefully, he can really show out and show up in this match. Maybe get an assist finally and maybe a goal. Maybe. Thanks, everybody, for supporting so far. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. I know it has been the craziest of matches. This one will be. I'll see everybody out there. And it looks like the crowd is packed outside the stadium. But now, here are some quick looks inside nobody that was some pre-game footage and here it is it's an away day for Lindbergh's first start but there he is mean mugging every time he steps on the pitch and it makes sense now why he was the number the uh, number one guy walking out the tunnel he's the captain of the team Ham Hamburger CF excuse me SV thinking back to the Montreal days and this one should be one for the books there it is, off the boot of Lindbergh. Back to Lindbergh now. Got to be a cheeky move. He doesn't really have all the techers, but he does have ability to still make plays. And there it is! An assist, his very first one of his career. And I mean, it comes after a good amount of techers. I mean, I don't know, for his, for his ability. At least right now, it came with a good amount of techers. A failed rainbow flick, maybe a half one, you would call it. And honestly... Just great awareness to touch it once again there and make a quick pass to number nine. And like I said, anybody with the number nine kit should be able to strike it into the back of the net. And there he does it. I'm not sure who that guy is. Glatzel. Ooh, he sounds like he's German. Glatzel. Yeah, great finish by Glatzel. And one up the score. Run. Run, number nine. There it is. Yeah, we set that up. Oh, come on. Look at this pass. Come on, give me an assist. What? Coach takes him off once again. Very late in this match. And honestly, I thought that was going to be a goal there. Maybe get himself another assist. But nothing you can do about that one. In a great match by Lindbergh. I'll see everybody back at the main menu. And here we are, the very end of this video, and I wanted to come in here and show the stats off. Now, so far, it looks like we only have one goal scored by Glatzel, if you remember that. And um, so far, I think the assist leader is Lindbergh. So we're off to a great start already, an 8.6 in the first match, and I did want to show that he is the actual captain. Sitting at a 74 overall, second best player on the team behind the number one, the keeper. Number 27 that I think pretty highly of. He's pretty good. I think he has some great pace. And actually, I think you can look at some attributes here. Yeah, a lot of perks there. This is just a quick look through the team here. The cam's pretty good. Other center mid, not bad. CDM, decent. Center back, all right. The right back's cool. And then we start to get to some 60 overalls, which some of these players do test the field. Like a left back, I think he plays. But, um, you know, that's really all I have to show for the team. Quick overview at the end, just so we can get a playing field of what team we are working with. Just want to say thank you everybody for tuning in if you enjoyed this first video of this episode series go ahead and drop a like down below comment something i can improve as we go forward it's been frank on the pitch with amory Lindbergh, and everybody stay safe take it easy